Okay, so we're going to add some functionality a little bit. We're going to start light on this whole system. So we have our player data. Now this thing, as you can tell, we have a battle HUD, the save load, the menu. It's got all sorts of stuff. So this thing needs to travel um, with us everywhere we go. So there's a very easy way to do this is if we give this thing a, a tag and let's go down and let's add a tag and we can call this tag anything we want we'll call it our FF manager okay this thing can now take that tag FF manager Actually, doesn't even really need that, but we might need that later. So, what do we want to do? We want to um, is null. Actually, I think the first thing we should do is fade the camera in. There'll be a better effect. Camera fade in. A couple of other things we should probably add is this thing is going to take all sorts of references for us, such as our menu window, our player menu. I spelt that weird, but that's okay. Our save load, our battle HUD, and our events. And we're going to be putting a lot of variables into this thing, but this is what we're starting off with. So when we start off, we want to make sure you know, we're in some sort of um, default phase. So I'm just going to randomly click my mouse randomly and see what happens, I guess. So let's copy this and duplicate him out a few times. So whenever this thing opens, we want our battle HUD to be deactivated. We want our events to be deactivated. We want our menu window to be activated. And we want player menu to be deactivated. Oh, we need one more. Our save, of course. This is what this is what I get for putting a slash in here. Good for some things, not good for this. We want our save load to be deactivated, so we're only activating our menu. We do a fade in, maybe two seconds. And we come over here. Now we need a variable, so I'm going to do a new global variable. This is going to be our FF manager and if it's null that's great if it's not null well damn not null and great let's add those so if it's okay cool it's not null then let's get owner And we're going to store ourselves into that manager. We also want a do oops destroy don't destroy on load. I want one of those. And if we are not null. Let's destroy self actually. We're just going to destroy ourselves because obviously there's already one here. Now we have a singleton style system. Guys, yeah, so the other thing we're going to want is some sort of menu manager. And this will be this will be some pretty light stuff. 
and what this guy needs to do is there's going to be some custom actions involved in here and I'm going to have those linked in my github but we want to have this action I said and this will be a github thing uh, where we can load our main data and it needs a file name so we're going to call it uh, game one the rest of these variables aren't going to matter at this point in time then we have a no file oh. and we're going to have a next frame event called has file so there is one more thing we need on this guy let's activate him so we can see him so I think I lied to you before in a previous tutorial is we need two more or another button here and this button is going to be called delete and we're going to take this button and we're going to just move it over and we sure the hell don't want it sitting on top of our play button because that would be stupid and I'm going to bring this size down we'll say 50 and stick it right next to there and we'll call this delete one duplicate them and I'm gonna put them over here duplicate it and put it in here this guy can be delete two delete three I'm gonna copy this guy's transform and paste it into these there now we have those deletes so in the menu manager we are gonna want um, a reference to that button that button's text uh, we want a reference to the delete as well so we want that guy and his text and his button and of course the third one just the same And of course his delete button so if this game does not exist we need to do a few things one is we need to make these buttons so game one text we want that to say that okay there's no file so this is going to be a new game now we also need some bools kind of like that so this one's going to be false this will come very important after so we have that and then the other thing we want to do is activate We want to deactivate the delete button right and then that finishes now the other thing is I'm going to copy this whole thing and place it here so if we have a file this is going to be now continue this will be true and this will be activate and if we take this whole thing we paste it here and then we paste it here we can now say this one's game two and this one's game three so let's just wire those up like that oops So this will control how these buttons look depending on save files.
So what's in this one, you ask? That's a good question. This one has six buttons that we have right now anyways. We have delete one. We can call an event called delete one. We have delete two. And we have delete three. And of course we also have our slot one. Slot two. And if you've guessed slot three, you are the winner. So there is our button array. So let's just add those events. So if we're going to delete one, what are we going to do? We are going to delete. And I have a special action for that, which will be part of that package. And we're going to delete game one. And we're just going to loop up and we go right back to the beginning. And I'm going to paste that two more times. Link them up. Wire them together like we're like a, some sort of super electrician. Go two and three. So now our delete buttons work. We can delete any save files we have. If we click the, the button here, we need a very quick bool test has game one if so this is a continue and if it's false then this is a new which reminds me we also need to change these has game one is now has game two and then this one down here is obviously has game three clear as mud. So we have continue and we have new. And this can more or less be that same thing for those three methods. All right, this one's obviously testing number two and this one's obviously testing number three. There we have it. So <coughs> From here, what do we need to do with this data? These all need a special, what we need now is a global variable. So we're gonna set string value. And this is gonna be a new global variable called, um, we'll call it FF game file. And it's gonna be game one. Oop, don't put it, don't, don't do that. And I'm just going to call that good. Duplicate this, put it here. Just like that. And I might as well just duplicate all those. And what this is going to do, this is going to tell anything in the code down the road that, or which file that we're actually using. So that it knows what things were loading in the ways of characters and levels and shit like that. There we go. So the other thing I think we should probably do here is a camera fade out. And that can just go to a finish. And then this is going to actually go to a continue system and this one here is going to be going to a new system so I said this is 
pretty simple logic on on this end of things. This this isn't going to be kind of mind melting things yet. That's coming up very soon. So this guy's going to go here. Now this guy's going to just follow that same path. All right, continue to the top, new to the bottom. All right, so he, him, him, and him go to the same place. This guy, this guy, and this guy go to the same place. So they all fade the camera out, and then this guy's going to tell the rest of the system that we're continuing a game and that this is the game file. This one's going to say we're doing a new game, but this is the game file. Right now, <coughs> if we want to test that, let's say let's do this so I can now use that global and we can use the FF game file and I can save this is also a custom action All right we'll say I'll just put in some stuff here so you can see like that right now if I hit play you should see this stuff should all get set up. And of course we you know didn't link it up properly, so that's great. So this guy's obviously not game one text, he's game two text. And that's obviously button two. And this is, I imagine anyone watching there is probably sitting there like, why hasn't he done that part yet? What is he, stupid? Well, screw you, I was working on it. And that's obviously delete three. So we come over here and that, and delete three. All right. Now let's see how that looks. Now that there are Right, so now this one has a continue because we, we did a save there. So if I delete it, he goes new. If I go new game, he comes over here, everything fades out. Now this, you know, we have it just ending here. But you can see like it says, we're saving that data. We're not doing anything with it. This is just a temp. Um, but you can see there, like it loaded that same data and it loads it in here. And if I went new game here, we go out of play mode into play mode. Now we have that. So we can delete those. And there is our our start. The the e simplest logic that we're gonna be doing at all during this entire tutorial series is this right here simple save and load the menu and change the start and continue buttons the rest of it's going to be insane <laughs>